All right, everybody, the bee house is complete, minus the paint, which I'm not doing. Uh, I'm building this for another fella. This is identical to my bee house. If you've seen it, I'll give you a walk around. So you got the front door. Uh, here's the first entrance to the first hive. This is the unique door handle that the customer wanted. Um, it's kind of a chicken coop style handle. Uh, I had to build a stainless steel plate to cover the normal hole. I made it in a honeycomb pattern just for looks. I had to build a little bar here uh, just for a latch. <clears throat> we'll move around to the, we'll just go ahead and do the outside. I did a little roof vents in this one, attic vents, uh, one on each side. So here's the porch area. Um, you can see it's all treated lumber, uh, anywhere that's going to be susceptible to major weather. I got another entrance right there uh, for the second beehive. You may ask yourself, well, the bees have, pro have problems getting into that. No, I have one on mine. The bees do just fine getting in and out of the porch area. Uh, coming around to the back side of the cabin, you got three hives across that back wall. Entrances, uh, the uh, attic ventilation system is all in. Of course, I trimmed everything out in one by fours. Um, and the, so that's three, four, five, and this is the sixth hive on the, the far end, opposite of the porch area. This little bee house has a metal roof customer wanted we got that all done it's a really nice I like the color it's called taupe it's a really nice kind of a cream creamy grayish colored metal roof uh, the customer is going to paint this to match his home he said he'd take care of all the painting which is great for me because I hate painting now we'll go to the inside <clears throat> very similar to mine almost identical uh, one thing that I wish I had in mind that I did in this was linoleum flooring, just for cleanup. Uh, you get dead bees, you spill honey, you know, as you're pulling out comb. Um, it's just really nice instead of having bare wood for cleanup. The hives are identical to mine. They're six foot tall hive bays. Uh, each each uh, frame rest will hold four frames deep maximum of 20 let's see here let's give a count so we got one two three four five six seven times four is 28 frames per hive that's two and a half deeps which is plenty big as far as i'm concerned uh up here screen you can see maybe through there maybe not yeah that's, I set my, uh, this is plenty large for a quart size feeder. You can set two quarts in here with sugar water if you need to feed. It also allows for good ventilation up above and down below. The same thing, something else that I wanted to do on mine um, is ventilation on the bottom. This is a screen down here. Um, something else that's really handy with this that I didn't realize until I started uh, using mine is you get dead bees you know they fall um, and in order to get into this hive to clean out those dead bees you had to pull the door off which, it, which then exposes the entire hive well with this you just take this screw out and that screw out this little bottom section come out I stick my little vacuum in there I vacuum them up or sweep them out without disturbing the rest of the hive <laughs> very handy um, so anyway so there's there's six of them identical to that all around this building inside. In this hive, we put a four-foot LED light. Oh, I don't have the building plugged in right now. Uh, so it's really bright in here with that light lit up. This I built, I put an outlet in up here for your thermostat heater control. <clears throat> um, that way you can hang it up on the wall. It's out of the way. And then I have a separate outlet down there for whatever uh, you want to run off of that. Maybe a vacuum or something and then the light switch. I do have one outside outlet right there, weatherproof outlet. So how I did power on this is I figure a lot of people want to just drop this off somewhere and plug it in. So that's how I rigged it up. Just You just plug it in. You 
park, park this on some blocks somewhere, level it, and then you just run an extension cord out and you plug it in. Any, there's really doesn't no, not much draw. Even if you use a little ceramic heater to warm this in the winter, you're still not drawing that much power. Uh, so this should work just fine. I've been using mine this way for since I've built it, and it's worked just fine. So there it is. The bee house is complete. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. I'm happy with it. I've did some improvements that I wish I wish I could just trade this one for mine now because this one turned out better than mine. Um, it has the improvements that I I would like to have done on mine. Uh, it's all OSB, as you can tell, uh, half inch OSB inside with insulated. It's fully insulated. Anywhere there's not a beehive, and all these walls, the ceiling, everything is fully insulated so it, it shouldn't be too difficult to heat it especially being such a small space um the next one i would like to build i'd like to build one twice this size uh, a little bit wider another two feet wider probably and about twice the length i'd like to hold six hives down that back wall and probably two on each end and then we're the opposite next to the door, two or three hives. So I like to have a, a little bee house that holds a dozen hives. Is what I would like to see um, for myself. And it preferably, it'd be even be nice if it was on a trailer. This one here is five feet wide. Uh, overall, it's ten feet long. The building itself is seven foot. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, with the little porch is three foot. The porch is not a necessary thing. I just think it looks looks good with the. Let me back up. You can see the overall. The porch just kind of finishes it. It makes it look kind of homey, I guess you could say, or cute. <clears throat> um, so anyway, uh, I just thought I'd show you guys my the finished bee house I've built for a fella. Thanks for watching.